But I look at YouTube here mm -hmm. primarily, and it's a juggernaut, right? Google mm -hmm. bought them for pretty much pennies on the dollar. dollar. Yeah. It's like it's the cheapest acquisition ever. What, one one billion. It's like ridiculous. <laughs> now it's not one billion. No. <laughs> Far more. <laughs> And so for me, it's like I kind of see the decline of YouTube mm -hmm. recently. Mm -hmm. and I've been on the platform since 2010. Mm -hmm. So it's been coming up almost 10 years, a decade. Um, I'm curious as to uh, I find it I want to say hard, but I find it really difficult to see how another platform can come around and kind of I want to say overtake YouTube because th this is this is a cognitive dissonance I'm having I give I'll give Facebook as an example mm -hmm. you have well f one Facebook buy gets Instagram right so you have Instagram and now what's you know uh, what's called uh, WhatsApp. Uh, WhatsApp yeah so they have this whole ecosystem to control mm -hmm. and like either or haven't really been involved into <coughs> the potential like for me I look at Instagram like this is it mm -hmm. and then I ask like what eight, seven and that's it like nothing really crazy mm -hmm. it was um, snap Right, Snapchat that comes around yep. and uh, creates new types of behavior. Yep. I want to say new, but creates incentives for different behaviors, right? With the stories and, and erasing videos. And yes. then Facebook's like, well, if I can't buy you, since I have ungodly amounts of money, I'm going to copy you. Mm -hmm. Right. So they start copying what Instagram stories, Facebook stories, yada, yada, yada. And then you as a new and upcoming company, A, you don't have the Lindy effect. You don't have the m money as Facebook does. You don't have the users, right? Facebook has pretty much free users. Their mm -hmm. CAC ratio is probably, who knows, free. <laughs> free. Free. Like, free. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so unless I'm getting funded by like SoftBank and I have like $500 million in funding to be super aggressive like TikTok does, mm -hmm. I find it difficult to see how a new platform can come around and kind of dethroned, let's say, YouTube. Because if, if you and I create a new YouTube competitor, whatever, um, and we have really cool new features, like we understand it, a new subculture mm -hmm. of psychology of users. But then right. YouTube's over here with like billions of dollars in the bank. And they're like, even Amir, thank you so much. I'm just going to take this feature now and implement it. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what I've been paying attention to recently is how do new startups in this day and age of like Goliaths, like Facebook and like YouTube kind of compete? That That's a very good question because I ask that questions every day. Yeah, go, well, you got your, uh, you know, venture fund. <laughs> We're <laughs> right. the YouTube killer over that's here. That's right. Yeah. You know, I have to look at it. It's like, you know, are you going to share, you know, you pitch to me about this and that. I'm like, are you sure? You know, what if... I ask these questions all the time. I say, what, what if YouTube, you know, or, 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 you know, whatever comparable companies are going to be copying you and doing the same thing? Yes. Right. What I, what I believe, if it is another copycat of something, it's difficult. Mm. So I have seen companies who have pitched to me and say, oh, we are going to be a YouTube for fashion. So we will only allow, you know, fashion bloggers to go on. I'm like, Okay, but what's what's the difference then, you know, to just go search for all the fashion bloggers on YouTube? What's the difference? There's no difference. Right. So there are companies like, oh, we're going to be doing, uh, you know, a shopping app very much like Instagram. Then I absolutely like, what if Instagram layer shopping options, which they do. Mm hmm. Um, you know, so what's what's the advantage? So I think a lot of these kind of uh, innovations, it's it's just a derivative of what some of the existing uh, behavior is. It's extremely difficult to kind of break that moat that these ginormous uh, company has created. Is exactly what you said. You know, they they have all these uh, you know co you know users, and uh, they have all these money. If they want to just kind of like copy it and make it nicer. Um, they can totally do it. So I think, you know, the, the, the innovation that I'm, I'm, I think will happen, it's only when people try to look at a different behavior that people really need. So one of the things that I'm actually very interested in uh, is blockchain. Mm. Someone uh, is, is, is um, you know, I wouldn't say pitching me, but we were casually talking, but I'm pretty sure there must be many projects out there right now on the blockchain that's doing this, is how do we use blockchain and make use of the consensus nature on the blockchain to actually uh, fight fake news? <laughs>